Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Moltrap here, and uh, this is going to be a great, great game. This is none other than TLO versus Boxer. Yes, it is true. And here's some epic chat coming up. There is some epic, epic chat going on here in a moment. I happen to know. Um, by the way, Man of One Way is Boxer's ID. It is confirmed. He has actually said... Uh, in an interview that he, that is his ID so uh, it is actually now confirmed that this is boxer and look at that I'm your fan boxer telling him he's his fan oh, can you imagine that can you imagine boxer telling you that he's your fan that is ridiculous oh my gosh and and TLO's telling him he's a fan too that that is gotta that would be like so awesome I would just uh, if I was TLO I would I don't know what I would do actually, but um, I would be astounded. Uh, anyway, both players, uh, just uh, very, very good players. Uh, TLO, of course, you know, going very far in the, uh, well, decently far in the GSL Season 1. GSL Season 2 is starting up soon, and guess who has qualified for the round of 64? Both of these guys have. TLO and Boxer are both going to be in the GOM TV Star League Season 2, the StarCraft 2 Star League, I guess, actually. Uh, I guess they're calling it the same name, even though there were three uh, GOM TV Star Leagues before. Uh, TLO is saying that <clears throat> uh, Boxer said he thought his games were fun, and TLO says that thanks, but he hopes to be a better player next time. He wants to get farther in the tournament. Boxer thinking the same thing. Boxer actually was uh, recently interviewed about getting into the GSL and that's uh, pretty much what he had said is that you know he hasn't been doing too terribly well in uh, Brood War for a while and uh, that you know he's he's missed being able to show his uh, fans good games and uh, and that kind of thing and and so he's hoping in GSL season two he'll be able to do that anyway so TLO is going we've got a, already a divergence in strategy here TLO going for the very quick gas um, after uh, after getting his barracks and going for the orbital command. Boxer, on the other hand, not getting gas. He went for the orbital command very quickly, which, by the way, doesn't take gas. There's a little confusion on that before, apparently, in some comments. And he's just producing marines here. And do we have... Yes, we do, and I missed it. I'm sorry, I actually watched the first couple minutes of this uh, before in order to uh, make sure do some tests. And I missed it this time, though, that Boxer actually chased away that SCV with his own Marine, so nothing's going to get in there. And this is about the point where I stopped and went back because the tests were going well. And this is, by the way, I was able, I'm was i still doing 15 FPS, that's what I'm recording in, and um, it's at full 1080p resolution, and it seems to be going fine. It's not lagging at the moment, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Anyway, Boxer going for a fast command center. Tilo's going to put a little pressure on here, though. And, oh, Boxer's Marine's a little bit out of position. He's got two over there and one over there. And, oh, no, those three Marines eat the two Marines with the SCV alongside as well. Uh, Boxer had his second Marine over here not doing anything. He's going to have to bring SCVs off the line to fight this. He's getting two more barracks up over here on the side. He's finally got gas over here, but he's having to pull some SCVs off to try and fight with one Marine gets out he can't really attack these three marines until he has enough marines to counter it basically and this marine was going to try and sneak in the back and attack at the same time but he's going to have to run away so he doesn't get mobbed by these uh three marines i think boxer is going to be able to fight this off pretty easily though now that he's got um an equal number of marines tlo is not not following up with extra stuff he might be yes he's following up with the hellion though this is going to be difficult difficult for boxer to defend he's going to have to place his marines perfectly and control them perfectly to, to make sure that no um uh I almost said vultures. No, um, Hellion sneak by. He's going to put a bunker down. Also, a very good idea um, to make sure that, well, he's at least protected. I think it might be better to put the bunker a little bit farther back for now. Although, he might. Where'd the Hellion go? There's the Hellion. What happened to the Hellion? Okay, he's just got one Hellion, and he's now moved it over here to produce a tech lab. Oh, never mind. There's, there it is. He's producing more Hellions. That's why. And he's going to get a tech lab. He might get some upgrades for these Hellions. Um,. After he goes in, and actually there is some lag now, I apologize, there weren't any in the test. Here come those Hellions running in. He's got a Bronco over here to, to suck up damage, and a few Marines over here to stop the Hellions from getting in. Uh, he does take some pot shots of those Marines. A couple Marines very, very low on health. Um, they could die very easily to these Hellions. Here he comes in, he roasts one and runs away. Uh, not very much health off those Hellions. Actually, no, never mind, they are. The one was very low on health, gets picked off by the Marines. They were taking fire from this bunker as well as they dove in. And uh, now Boxer getting up uh, a, a good amount of income here. Let's get the income tab up here. 
actually about even harvesters, but because, um, well, yeah, basically Taylor's about maxed out on his harvesters for one base. Boxer has two bases, so and he's got two orbital commands to produce mules with, so you can see the income tab is really, really, really hugely different. Um, Boxer with about 50% more uh, income, uh, approximately. Here come those Hellions, though. If he can roast some SCVs of Boxers, though... Oh, picking off the little uh, uh, NPC unit or whatever it was. Here he comes in. He's going to try and roast... Oh! Pops some SCVs! Nicely done! And with that many Hellions, he can just roast uh, Marines in one hit as well. He's going for the SCVs now. Oh! All these SCVs are going to die, and he's going to be able to get out pretty easily as well. Uh, some of the Hellions taking some hits but, uh, from those Marauders. The Marauders are the reason those Hellions are going to be uh, chased off eventually. Uh, Hellions can't quite kill off those Marauders quickly enough, and they're going to be forced to retreat. And look, a quick Thor from TLO, and all of you guys were ragging on me for claiming that someone might go for a quick Thor, when in fact it does happen, after all. Here he comes in, he's got a couple SCVs to stick with the Thor. Very nice, actually. Uh, the Thor has taken some hits from this bunker, but it is going to come in here and totally force this... Um, this orbital command to raise up and oh no marauders have stim now but they can't quite hold it off oh, oh if the hellions run up the rip that would be horrible he's keeping them with the uh thor though for some reason keep them with the thor to try and protect against the marines i guess he needs to repair that thor pretty quickly though he's targeting down the thor the thor goes down thor goes down it looks like another one uh, has been rallied towards the battle though he's going to try and uh, uh, send in some more attacks here um both players uh very very um Excuse me, both players, uh, very, very good microing going on. <laughs> How about if I speak in, like, complete sentences, huh? Anyway, the bunker goes down. I think he actually salvaged it because he knew it didn't wasn't really going to matter at this point. Um, this second Thor has come in now. It's taken some hits already. He needs to repair that Thor. He's got a few Hellions, and I'm not sure why he's not running in here trying to do more damage to the supply line. But Boxer is in trouble here. This could be very bad. He's got a starport in. He's got this other orbital command. He's going to land it to try and maybe um, put down some mules with it. Is what I'm thinking is going to go on, but this Thor is just owning everything. He's having to bring SCVs off the line to try and defend, but they're not going to do any good at all with these Hellions here. Hellions roasting the Orbital Commando as well, and oh man, this is just really, really bad for ba Boxer. Boxer GGOs and is going to leave the game. Wow, very nicely done. The little one with just a quick uh, Hellion rush, um, and he got the Pre-Igniter as well. Uh, and uh, just came in there and with Thor's to follow up as well. Very nicely done. And, you know, it wasn't uh, that big of a thing. It was just the fact that um, uh, the Boxer went for a fast expansion. And so he just didn't quite have the tech or the units to, to hold it off. And it's really unfortunate because he probably could have if he'd had his Marines grouped up on the ramp, for instance. Um, when those three Marines came in and if Boxer had three Marines as well then he probably could have held off those first few marines and would have been in a much better position and wouldn't have been as distracted would have been able to um uh get some more forces out so tlo just took that advantage very early on with the marines and followed up with hellions before boxer could get anything out to deal with it and uh, it looked like um even if boxer did hold that off tlo was going to be getting his own expansion down and he had some more tech coming out uh in addition to get siege mode and uh, a siege tank out so uh pretty dominant little win there from TLO. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this game very much. Thanks for watching, and uh, look out for more um, games for between TLO and Nada coming out soon. Again, this is from a re replay pack released on Team Liquid. Um, I guess uh, TLO, TLO ran across Nada and Boxer in the ladder uh, while he was laddering, so we get some sweet replays out of a deal. Alright, thanks very much for watching. GG, take care.